everybody, welcome back to the next Mel Back segment. Now, we've already talked about wine. We've already talked about kimchi. I wish I could show you that, but I don't have any. I didn't bring any back from Korea. I did, but I ate it because I'm a pig. Anyway, we're going to be talking about diets. Health and diets with a variety of different staples you find in the Meltback America Screen Kitchen. Now, this is the timer. At Meltback, we like to play a fun game called Time to Explain. So, each partner, when they're explaining ingredients, they are judged on how well they explain everything. So, I will judge myself right after this quick little game because I will be listing all of these ingredients. So I have five minutes to do it and the time starts now. So the first ingredient is salt. It is the seasoning staple. You have to use it in about everything. So you, you know, season it in it and savory things and you also season it in dessert because we need the balance between probably yin and yang, and you just need it in everything. If you're serving grits, maybe salt. Rice is great with salt. It is an African staple, and something people really crave. The next ingredient is pasta. Pasta is um, those gluten-free pasta. If you're allergic to gluten, then please do not get um, this pasta. There's so many different shapes of pasta, it can vary. One of them is rigatoni. When you're serving pasta with tomato sauce, you need them to hold in the sauce. So there's all different shapes. Um, the next ingredient is pepper. This is a pepper milk. The powder pepper is, um, you know, grinding little um, pepper cones, and you grind them up in this thing, and then when you tone it, it comes out in pepper, and I think this needs a little bit more pepper. It is great on grits, and it is a great staple in the food mill, and something we all would look forward to the taste of, and great on green beets. So that's pretty... Don't know back. So now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set it for um, another two minutes so that, well, well, well. Da, 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 da. Okay, so another five minutes. So if you, because we're, we're sympathetic. Because if you want to give yourself more time, if you find it running out, then you may do so. It is a free country. Um, and they let you cheat, too, which is great. I, um, you know, I, I made up that rule, so I'm pretty good shape. So now it's time to go a little slower. This is rice. And this is just um, instant um, grain rice, short grain rice. One of the many great Indian types of rice is a wonderful long grain rice or um, short grain. Um, it is basmati, and it is great with peas, and it is great to meld with all those other sauces. You serve it with tikka, lamb, um, and you can even um, get your um, little pieces of pita bread. It's delicious. So this is rice. Um, and as I said earlier, it is a staple of the Asian table because, you, you know, you, um, you boil this and it is, you know, great to cook. But the rice you need to really eat, and when you serve it, you put butter and pepper on it. It's delicious. But the rice you need to make, well, The rice you need to make risotto with is this rice. This is um, alboia. This is the classic rice you need to make risotto. There is not a better rice. There's carnivore rice or something like that. 
but this is definitely the right you need to make a good risotto. Now, the final meal back ingredient is the sugar. Sugar is key. You put it in toasts, pies, cakes. If you put it in cake, if you do not put it in cake, that will just miss the um, big element of dessert because what does dessert mean? Sugar. That's what it means. And if you don't put the sugar in, good grief. It will taste horrible without the sugar. It makes it taste better. So that what that the, the sugar, that's what makes it taste the way it does. This meltback table is a gift. And I'm glad I shared it with you now. So let's stop the timer. And I've got two minutes left. Thank you for joining me, Mailbacks. Bye.